What's going on you guys? The Heath Carnes here bringing you a interesting video here. We're going to have a versus video here and we're going to see which shoe in my opinion is better between the iconic Osiris D3 2001 model against another Osiris, the current flagship shoe, the Osiris NYC 83. Now um, I am a huge Osiris fan if that's not already obvious. If that's not already, it's kind of bright on my face. There we go. If that's not already obvious to you guys, um, huge Osiris fan. Been wearing these things since I was about 10 or 11 years old, and I'm now in my mid 20s. So I've been wearing Osiris for many, many years, and I plan on wearing them pretty much for the rest of my life. Um, so yeah, so I decided that we're gonna go ahead and start out with um, the NY. C83. I haven't really made many videos on this. I think I did an unboxing of this shoe. And, um, yeah, I think that's really all I did. I think I might have reviewed them or not. I don't know. But it's it's an excellent shoe. Um, I have worn these. As you can see stuff in the uh, in the tread. Um, Iconic Osiris emblem there. Side. There's the back with, yet again, an Osiris logo the other side and the front view with Osiris across the top. Uh, these are a size uh, 13, that's pretty much what I wear in most shoes. And uh, yeah, they're pretty big, they're hard for me to get in the shot better there maybe, I should scoot back a little bit. So there you go. Um, so the first thing I want to say is that I love how fl absolutely flexible the NYC 83s are. These shoes are extremely flexible, they're extremely comfortable, and they have some serious, um, they have some serious comfort in them. So first of all, I want to show you this angle here. Obviously, this is where you put your foot in, and it's just extremely flexible. Come on, focus, fake camera. Don't do this to me. There you go. It's extremely flexible like that. The tongue moves all around. The tongue is very, very thin, unlike the D3, very, very opposite of the D3, but very, very flexible. The shoe is very, very flexible. That's a big thing I really, really like about this shoe. Um, now, I'm not going to count this next part as uh, against the shoe, but I really don't like the fabric this shoe is made out of. If you guys are considering getting a pair of these NYC 83s, I do recommend them. However, I don't recommend them in this design. The reason being is because this was a limited run of like a jean. Um, it's like a jean fabric. And as you can see, if I bring it close to you, it's the fabric is just coming out everywhere. It's It's just like really... It's just like really, really bad. I mean, you guys can't see it as good as compared to if you were here in person, but it's coming out everywhere. It's coming out on the back for me putting my, slipping my feet in. So this, sh don't buy the jean version, but I still love the shoe. It still gets me a lot of looks. I've had a lot of people that look right at it because it's so, such a, a loud shoe, if you will. Mainly because it's, it's a very bright red. I mean, you can't miss these things. So a very very durable shoe very very comfortable shoe and very very fun to use so let's move on to the iconic Osiris D3 so of course the Osiris D3 2001 or pretty much any D3 really doesn't need any introduction this is the legendary shoe that pretty much put Osiris on the map. Osiris came out in 1996, and this shoe, the original uh, uh, D3, the OG D3, which you can't buy, you haven't been able to buy for like almost 20 years, came out in I think 99 or 2000. Um, so the cool features about this shoe that I really like is obviously the iconic um, side of the shoe. You know, this this gets a lot of looks. I've had people stop me, ask me where I got them because it's very very nostalgic, and they are very very hard to find. Um, in stores a lot of people don't realize that Osiris likes to bring these back from time to time and you just got to keep your eyes on open so these two just like the NYC 83s these are a size 13 much bigger shoe here's the front the back the iconic bottom can't mistake it for anything else um, and uh, the inside of the shoe there you go so, um, unlike this shoe, I mean, unlike the NYC, this shoe is not very flexible. I mean, that's about as much as I can do before having to really push, a, putting almost no effort into it. About the furthest I can go is about there. Uh, the tongue is extremely fat, extremely uh, big, but very, very flexible. I mean, no problem doing that to it, no problem moving it around. Um, 
This tongue thing is pointless. Do never pull those up because you will rip it. I ripped my other one off like a dumbass. Uh, you got the D3 logo here, which is pretty cool. No mistaking what they are. Um, the air sockets in them definitely are cool because like if you jump off of a curb or you have to step down hella hard, you actually feel the shoe kind of bounce and it gives you more support. So that's a big, big plus there. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not, like I said, it's not very, I mean, that's about as much as I can flex it. It's not a flexible shoe. It's a very, very bulky. It's a very, very fat shoe. So it's a very, very, um, kind of an acquired shoe i mean basically what i'm saying is that if you want a very very flexible shoe and you're not a diehard d3 fan but you like the way the d3 looks but you just don't know if you should go with the d3 or you should go with the nyc 83 but you want a comfortable shoe that you can wear on a daily basis with complete comfort i recommend the nyc 83 over the d3 however if you are like me and you are a diehard d3 fan you've been wearing these since you were a kid or you just love them in general and you want them and you're willing to sacrifice some stuff then the d3 is definitely your shoe um the things i don't like about the new d3s that i will say the re-releases these 2001s is that the padding in them is not really there there's a lot more padding and comfort in the nyc 83s which is what i'm saying is that which is why i said you'll have to make some sacrifices um another thing about this shoe that i don't like that the uh that this shoe does is this shoe has like elastic so you can pretty much bend the tongue all the way forward no problem right this shoe has very very strong bands that stretch a little bit but about as far as i can go with this tongue is about there so like i said these shoes win over the nyc 83 in terms of durability because i mean these are four-year-old shoes and they look pretty good and i still wear them to this day um durability is a huge thing with these shoes so if you want a shoe that's going to last you and you want a shoe that's going to you know keep together over a long period of time i highly highly recommend these however with this shoe here in terms of durability there really really is none like i said it's a very flexible shoe it's a very light shoe it's a very lightweight shoe but the problem is is that with volk with the volk sole sorry is these things Volk doesn't last long. I don't like Volk. I, I can't stand it. But that's pretty much all they ever put these NYC 83s in for the most part. Um, these shoes aren't even that old, okay? I've had these shoes just for, I think, a matter of a few months. I don't know, maybe longer. I might have had them almost a year, but it doesn't matter. Because, like I said, the shoes are already starting to kind of fall apart. So if you want complete durability and you're willing to sacrifice some of the comfort, some of the luxuries of the NYC 83s, then get these bad boys. If you don't and you'd rather get an NY, uh, NYC 83 and you'd rather have um, and you'd rather have complete comfort, more padding, and more flexibility in your shoe, go with the NYC 83s. But my final report is that I am a person that likes durability. I am a person that likes um, bigger shoes. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not biased or anything like that. I love my NYC 83s. I will definitely own more in the future. But I'm definitely, for me, I'm going to have to go with the Osiris D3. The reason it wins is because durability, I think, is just such a big factor. And the iconic look of this shoe is, is unmistakable with any other shoe. I mean, this looks like nothing else out there. Some people absolutely hate this shoe, and some people absolutely love this shoe. There's really not much of an in-between. You either love this shoe or you absolutely hate it. I've had people say it's the ugliest shoe they've ever seen. I've had some people say it's the most awesome, cool, and original shoe they've ever seen. It's just a matter of opinion and taste, really. Anyway, guys, this video has gone on way longer than I wanted it to. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful, and I hope this helps you make up your mind in terms of what you want to buy from Osiris if you are in the market for Osiris shoes. Um, I just want to confirm to everybody that I'm not in any way, shape, or form associated with Osiris shoes. I'm not being paid to tell you this. I'm not being paid to make this video. This was just out of complete boredom that I wanted to make this video, but also I wanted to give some people insights and help some people that may be kind of conflicted. Should, should you wait for more D3s to launch? Or should you just go ahead and go with the currently available NYC 83s? It's really your choice. I, I would definitely recommend the D3s if you like durability. Um, and a shoe that's really going to last you and is going to be very, very original. You're really never going to see anybody else with these on because they're very rare. Or if you want flexibility, com more comfort, and... Uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. More comfort and whatnot, then definitely go with the NYC 83s. So this is C. Keith Carnes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you to my almost 600 subscribers. And uh, that's about it. If you want to see anything, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll see if I can get to it. You guys take care, and I will see you guys in the next. See you later.